Yeah, that's a good way to ruin it. Oh, there you are. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Cashed Out, and today we're gonna be talking about a good way to ruin your MacBook. And this will be a little bit of a different video, maybe a little bit more of a rant on my part, because I kinda got annoyed with what Apple did with Mac OS Monterey. Now, I really like my MacBook. It's probably the best computer that I've honestly ever had. It's a phenomenal workhorse for me. I do all my editing, my photos, video editing, uh, and everything that I do, I do through that MacBook. I really like having that MacBook. Now, I never had any issues with that MacBook until about a month ago when Apple released their Mac OS 12 Monterey update. I'm a big tech guy, obviously, if you're in a tech channel. I love tech, so I always love like the new features and functionality that are coming out with new updates. So when I saw some of the new features, you know, some of the stuff with FaceTime and some of the other UX redesign, I was like, okay, you know, that seems cool. I, would, I wouldn't mind having that. So that was really the driving force behind me updating. And after that update, update completed, that's the moment I realized that I messed up. I had totally screwed up by choosing to take this update. A lot of the expected features were there, so like the FaceTime functionality, the UI updates, that's all well and good, but one important thing happened. When I updated to macOS 12, my MacBook's Bluetooth went to complete garbage, hot trash, awful. And that's really a big thing for me. Now, it may not be for you, but it's a huge thing for me because I do a lot of work on this computer and I always have Bluetooth pairing with my earbuds. So I'm always like working and then leaving the office, walking around the house or the office and doing other things. So I love having that Bluetooth connection so I can listen to music, listen to audios, listen to different things. So not having quality Bluetooth connection makes it really awful because before this update, actually I could put in my earbuds and I could walk two, three rooms away from my office and still have solid good connection. Heck, I could even walk outside. I could be outside my window, outside taking out the trash or whatever, and my MacBook had a really strong connection. I never had any issues. Now, after this update, literally almost like the second after the update, I put my earbuds in, and as soon as I do that, I turn on a YouTube video, and the first thing, within like the first five minutes, the Bluetooth starts getting choppy. It literally starts cutting out maybe every five to 10 minutes as I'm listening to this, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, what, what is the deal here? After that, I would keep finding myself having to rewind the videos that I'm watching, like five seconds, because it would just just keep getting chopped up. It would just keep getting cut up every now and then. So that really got annoying. I actually went back to using, I was editing using my Bluetooth earbuds back when I first got my MacBook, but now I've gone back to the old school over the ear headphones, just plugging it in directly into the computer because there's no choppiness and cutting out and Bluetooth issues connected with that. So that's really frustrating. Now I saw some other videos of people that had Bluetooth issues with Mac OS Monterey and some of them were actually on the beta version. So my thought was that, hey, I mean, if this is the production version, if this is the live version that you're putting out to everybody, you should have probably fixed all the beta issues before you made it live, right? That, that's what you would think, but the quality control apparently sucks over there right now. It's really irritating to see beta issues being a problem on the production version of your software. With all the people that they have over there, you would think quality control wouldn't be an issue, right? But I guess I'm wrong. You know, I guess that's a problem, a continual problem with these guys. If you're pushing this out on a big update like Mac OS 12, you better catch those bugs before you send it out to your consumers. Now, I used to work in software. That's kind of my background, so I totally get it. You don't always catch every single bug, but there are some bugs that are pretty big. You know, there are some bugs that are kind of a big deal that will negatively impact the user experience, and those are the ones that you wanna make sure are up on your list, especially if you've had some beta testing and you've had some kind of knowledge about it. So that's the part that really irritates me is that this should have been caught. This should not be a problem. For as much as they're charging people for their products, Apple should have much better quality control in terms of the things that they're pushing out to those products. Typically when you do an update, when you add new features, yeah, it's exciting to give the user new features and that's what we're excited about trying out and having, but I'm not gonna be all hyped about new features if they ruin the core features and the core things that I love about your software. So honestly, I'm gonna be keeping an eye out on future updates. I'm not just gonna blindly take them. You know, that was, I, I'll take the loss on that. I didn't really read through or, you know, kind of dig deeper into the problems, but if you have a MacBook and you haven't updated the Mac OS Monterey, if you don't have to, don't do it at least until these bugs get fixed. So hopefully this little rant will help you guys out. I mean, if you haven't updated or if you have that Mac OS update queued up, be sure to kind of, you know, 
take a little bit of a pause on that. Honestly, look into it a little bit more and see if those Bluetooth issues have been fixed for your version. And, you know, maybe even contact Apple and check with them for, you know, whatever good that'll do. So anyway, just a quick rant video. I just wanted to get this off my chest. It's really been irritating for me, but I know some of you might go through that or might be in the process of updating and, you know, wonder if it's worth it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take my warning. Anyway, hope this video helped you out, guys. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. I definitely won't be as ranty next time. And I, I don't feel as too ranty. It's kind of a, a chill rant, a mellow rant. Anyway, talk to you guys soon.